Well, federal vaccine advisors selected by RFK Jr. are voting on whether the CDC should end its longstanding recommendation that every newborn in the U.S. get a hepatitis B vaccine. It's credited with driving down cases of infections in kids by 99%. But the shot is the latest target of skeptics wondering whether the benefits outweigh the potential risks. So joining us now is Dr. Sherry Cohen, president of the Hepatitis B Foundation. Doctor, thank you so much for the time. So the Hep B vaccine, it's a three shot series with the first specifically given within the 24 hours of birth. So why has that been the recommendation since 1991 rather than screening for risk factors or testing the mother? That is a great question. We tried doing risk-based vaccination in, starting in 1982, and over a 10-year period, what we found was that it doesn't work. Risk-based screening, risk-based vaccination is just not effective. And we still saw about 18,000 babies and young children infected with hepatitis B before the age of 10 every single year. So in 1991, the universal uh, vaccination for hepatitis B uh, recommendation, including birth dose, was put into place. And since the recommendation, we have seen, as as you said, a 99% decrease. So now instead of 18,000 babies and children being infected every year, maybe we see a few dozen. Yeah, and I was also reading, you know, if a, if a mom is positive with hep B, 85% chance the baby will have it, will have that infection at birth. But let's, let's go to the evidence. Is there any evidence to suggest that this vaccine is unsafe? There are, you know, the, the concerns and the, uh, the other side from the skeptics and other medical experts saying, hey, it could lead to other things, autism, for example. There have been dozens of studies done among tens of thousands of people in the last 40 years, and there is no evidence that the vaccine leads to autism. Um, the vaccine is safe. The vaccine is effective. Over a billion, with a B, doses of the vaccine have been given out in the past 40 years. And what the vaccine does is prevent infection from hepatitis B, which is the leading cause of liver cancer. And I think the thing to remember is that when you are infected or exposed as a baby or a young child, you have a 25% chance of premature death from liver cancer. It is like living with a ticking time bomb. Yeah, that is alarming. So let's talk more about that. Uh, so how does transmission of this virus, uh, talk about how contagious it is and elaborate more on you know, what happens if left untreated about the chronic liver disease and cancer? Yeah, so the virus is transmitted through direct contact with inf infected blood and also through intimate contact. And for babies and children, what that means is um, that we can have potential exposure to microscopic amounts of blood that can transmit the virus. Um, things like sharing toothbrushes, sharing razors, things like scratches. So if any time you have blood, microscopic amounts of blood going from one person's body into another, you can have transmission. And what we know is that babies often have, ra have rashes and scratches that can potentially lead to transmission if they go into an environment where a caregiver unknowingly has hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is incredibly transmissible. It is, and people who are infected typically, if they're not treated, have millions of viruses per milliliter of, of blood, which makes it easy to transmit. Wow, yeah, even toothbrushes, like you said. So, so what are the impacts then? If you delay the vaccine, you're not gonna get ahead of it then. I mean, this could spread, it sounds like, very, very quickly. Yeah, delaying the vaccine is certainly a, a, it's going to leave the next generation of babies vulnerable to infection. The, that, the hepatitis B birth dose is a safety net. It prevents mother to child transmission, but it also prevents accidental household transmission that can happen in the first month or two of life or, or even beyond. We need to remember that two and a half million people in the U.S. have hepatitis B infection. Most don't know it. And when you don't want to put babies in a situation or children in a situation where they're going into um, an, a, a, an environment where they could be exposed. I don't want to see this safety net removed. Yeah, we will see what happens today then. Thank you for that insight, Dr. Sherry Cohen, president of the Hepatitis B Foundation. Thank you so much. Thank you.